And now if, again, our result code equals equals the yes, sorry, no, no, no. Let's get J option pane dot yes option. We're going to do this. Else the user clicked no. So we don't need to explicitly say else if result code equals equals JS from chain. Sorry, J option pane dot no option. We'll just say else since we only have two options anyway. Else, what we're going to do is just again save cancelled. Or rather, or rather, instead of doing that, no, yeah, yeah, we just want to say uh, save cancelled here again. But if you did click yes, overwrite it, then we're going to save. Let's copy this whole block over here and paste it up here. Now, if we run our application now, it should be pretty much complete. At least our save and save and quit and save and save and quit here. Now, let me show you that these two buttons also work because they're using the same methods that we defined in here and just putting it here. So if we press save, 12, um, so let's say you know, new. Press cancel, go to our ad book, save canceled. Two. Okay. Okay, that <laughs> Java really likes to embarrass me. Let's see why that's happening. Okay, let's create a save file. We're gonna name it we're gonna name it new. Okay. And now if we go to our package explorer, new should be in here. And it is. Run our application again. We're gonna save new. It's already there. So it's gonna say it's file name is not null, content equals is not this. We're gonna go inside here. Then we're gonna create a save file. file.trim with that, that, blah, blah. If save file does not exist, but it does, we're going to go in this else, and we're going to show a confirm dialog. Okay, this should show that dialog. File name already exists. Overwrite it. No, save canceled. Let's try that again here. New. Okay. No. Now we still quit even though Right. We're still uh, exiting the system even though even though we pressed canceled. Cancel. No. Save and quit. Cancel. Okay, let me try this again. Save and quit. New. If I press no, it's going to quit, which I don't want that. Okay. Jeez, jeez, Louise. Jeez, Louise. Um, one moment. <clears throat> All right. I guess the... Uh, the easiest solution to, for this and the most, I'd say the most naive solution to this is not this. Instead, we're just going to create another variable. It's going to be a boolean. I don't even know where to put these, these booleans anymore. We're just going to say, I'm just going to put it here, whatever. Private boolean. And we're going to say quit. Now this quit is going to tell us if the quit boolean is true, we're going to exit our system, or rather just exit. So we're going to initialize this to false. <clears throat> we're going to initialize this to false here. 
init event attributes again just put it here false and now we're gonna only set it set this so if exit we're going to system dot exit zero now we need to make use of this we need to actually set this to true at some point where are we gonna do that well once we uh, once we go here in our save file once we uh, successfully saved our uh, our library and that happens on two occasions over here and over here when do we want our exit to be false that's easy when the save failed and that's in here exit equals false so when the save fails the user presses cancel or you know the string is equal to a uh, an empty string you're gonna say exit false in here too every time basically every time you see save cancel just say exit false so that if the user presses save and quit it goes to the save and the save is gonna determine what the value of this exit is so now if we if we run our application say save and save and quit and say new should pop up our warning message say warning file name already exists override it and we say no this exit should be false so the system should not exit and there we go cancel new no save and quit new yes all right and that pretty much does it for our save and save and quit now we're pretty we're done with all of these buttons inside our ad book panel now let's go here and implement the delete and open which is gonna be pretty simple as well well actually the open actually this, these two parts are not gonna be as simple but I'll try to make it as simple as possible